For some analysis tonight, we have in the studio Shafkat Munir, a senior analyst from the S. Vajravadnam School of International Studies in Singapore. And uh, Shafkat Munir is uh, joining us this Friday night. Thank you very much for your time, uh, you. Shafkat. Now, we've been hearing reports lately that Lachari Toiva is planning fresh attacks on Mumbai and New Delhi. Now, my question is, how capable are they in planning that attack? And are Indian authorities capable of fighting back? Lashkar Taiba is a very capable group. It's a very lethal terrorist outfit. Time and again, it has demonstrated the kind of attacks it can carry out, and 2611 was perhaps one of the greatest manifestations of that. The, the variant of Lashkar Taiba that we are talking about is also linked to major groups, including Al Qaeda, and therefore the threat that emanates from them needs to be taken very seriously. When it comes to India's preparedness, I think we have seen a major qualitative shift since the Mumbai attacks in 2008. India has been able to, to a large extent, plug some of the gaping holes that were seen during the attacks. There have been improvements in terms of prevention and also in terms of India's ability to react to such an attack in the future. Okay, uh, that leads me to the second question. How has the threat of terrorism involved, uh, evolved rather, uh, in India? I think India still continues to face, face a significant challenge from terrorism as well as violent extremism. And not only it's the Islamist militancy that we are talking about. India does face a very serious challenge from Naxalites, Naxalites or Maoists with, who are operating from within Indian territory as well as the external dimension of the threat. So the threat continues to be quite significant but as I have said earlier in terms of India's ability to meet with such a threat we have definitely seen some qualitative shift some of which was manifested in the forces that were on parade today and some of the other improvements have been in terms of coordination, also coordination within the country and also outside. Okay, on the other side of the border, Pakistan, uh, how is its effort in clamping down on the Lakshar Tawana terrorist group? Pakistan and India have collaborated, although the two sides have blamed each other in the past, but we have seen some actual collaboration in the aftermath of the 2611 attacks in terms of sharing of information in terms of curving down on the perpetrators of this attack. We know that seven attackers are currently on trial. The two countries are negotiating with each other to get more evidence related to the attack so that they can, that can stand in the court of law. But it also needs to be acknowledged that Pakistan faces a very serious challenge from terrorism and extremism within the country. And Pakistan is making efforts to curb down on that challenge. Okay, today we reported that uh, there was a foil terrorist attack on the Pakistani side of the border. What do you make of this? Uh, more concerned? Uh, definitely more concerned. Uh, this just shows the enormity of the challenge faced by Pakistan. And as we have seen that the attackers were trying to explode bombs at the federal parliament and also at an upmarket neighborhood in Islamabad, this just shows the enormity of the challenge faced by that country and definitely a point of concern not only for Pakistan but also for the entire region. Okay, thank you very much uh, you. for your time. And I've been speaking there with uh, Shafkat Munir from the S. Rajaratnam School of International Studies.